Well, this apparently will come as no surprise to many of you because you live it. But Madison was recently ranked by Women's Health. It was the article was in Women's Health anyway. It's one of the most sleep deprived cities in the nation. We have UW sleep doctor, Dr. David Plant from the School of Medicine and Public Health with us today. Mm -hmm. I am stumbling all over my words because I know I didn't get enough sleep last That's night. That's understandable. I, I, I'm you know, kind of joking, but seriously, I mean, mm -hmm. how little sleep are we getting? What's going on? Well, what this particular survey was, was they looked at data from the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, and um, they basically looked at, they asked by telephone how many hours people were getting per night, and basically about 25% um, of the people, at least in Madison, said that they weren't getting enough sleep more than half the time. What does that mean? Less than eight hours? Well, it's hard to say. This particular survey wasn't asking about the exact number of hours people were getting, but I think it was more of a perception of if they were getting enough sleep. And people also reported that about nine days per month, they weren't felt like they weren't getting enough sleep on average. What is the recommended amount? And I know, again, it depends on age and a lot of other sure. factors. Sure, and it really does vary from person to person. It's very much a bell curve, how much people need. Uh, but typically, we recommend about seven to eight hours per night. So that glance was at my father, who always fusses at me for never getting enough sleep. Um, talk about some of the health problems not getting enough sleep can mm -hmm. create. Sure. Well, not getting enough sleep or sleep deprivation really is associated with how we how we feel. So it can certainly cause us to feel more depressed, sometimes more irritable. It can really affect how we function. So it can affect how productive we are at work. It also increases the risk of automobile accidents and things like that mm -hmm. or accidents on the job. And then really the third way it really can affect us is sort of our overall physical health. And reasons that we might not be getting, I mean, stress, just mm -hmm. on the go too much, what else? It really, it's, it's, there's a number health of reasons. It, typically sleep tends to be the first thing that we curtail in our busy lives. And really this is a bit of a public health uh, problem throughout the entire United States. So. We've talked about it for a long time. Yeah. There's, uh, it's been a discussion for decades. When should you see someone to get a medical evaluation if you really think you've got an issue? Well, usually if people are sleep depriving themselves, they tend to have a reason for it and usually can identify it. So people know when they're only sleeping four hours a night because that's what they're doing as part of their schedule. Really a good reason to see a doctor is if you can't figure out a way to increase the amount of sleep time that you need and you want to see someone to perhaps give some behavior behavioral recommendations. But another reason to sort of seek professional evaluation is if you feel like you're getting enough sleep, so seven to eight hours, but you still feel tired. quite tired the next day. That suggests there may be a sleep disorder or something else going on. All right, Dr. Plant, thank you so much for coming in. Really my, appreciate my your pleasure. time. All right, get a good night's sleep, all of you. Stay with us.